OpenSUSE Leap 15.6 versus OpenSUSE Leap 16.0. What's different and should you upgrade? Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're comparing OpenSUSE Leap 15.6 with the brand new Leap 16.0. If you run Leap on a laptop, desktop, or server and are wondering what's new and whether you should upgrade now, this video will walk you through the important technical changes, the user-facing experience, upgrade considerations, and my practical recommendations. Let's get into it. Short version, Leap 15.6 is a solid, stable finish to the 15XX family, while Leap 16.0 is a bigger platform shift. New base, new defaults, Wayland, modern security choices, and higher hardware requirements. If you want maximum stability and minimal surprises, 15.6 is safe. If you want newer desktops, a modernized stack, and don't mind checking compatibility, Leap 16 is the one to test and adopt. What 15.6 delivered. Short recap. OpenSUSE Leap 15.6 was released as the final 15.x point release and focused on Polish, a Linux 6.4 kernel, updated GNOME and KDE components where appropriate, the addition of cockpit tools for server administration, and a maintenance window intended to bridge users into Leap 16 ships. 15.6 was positioned as the stable, long-serving option for users who needed continuity. What's new and different in Leap 16.0? 1. New base and life cycle. Leap 16 is built on SUSE's newer platform foundations and marks a generational step from the 15.x lineage. It comes with an extended and clearly defined support period for the release cycle and a refreshed approach to how Leap aligns with SUSE Enterprise sources. 2. Admin tooling. Yast versus Cockpit. One of the most visible shifts is the move to Cockpit as the primary manual administration interface for many tasks. Cockpit modules have been added and extended to cover functions previously handled by Yast. This is part of a modernization effort, but it also means some workflows change for sysadmins who are used to Yast. 3. Desktop slash display stack. Wayland and modern DEs. Leap 16 adopts a Wayland-first approach. The release emphasizes Wayland for its desktop sessions and ships up-to-date desktop environments, GNOME and KDE Plasma 6 series. Expect better security and smoother compositor integration, but also make sure any legacy X11-only tools you rely on still work through X Wayland. 4. Security Defaults and Audio Stack Leap 16 introduces changes to the security defaults, for example, stronger alignment with enterprise security practices, and modernizes the audio stack. Pipewire becomes the default media server in many scenarios, while AppArmor remains available. 5. Hardware and Compatibility Notes Leap 16 raises minimum hardware microarchitecture requirements on some platforms. In short, systems that ran older leaps may need to be checked for compatibility. The release notes list the new minimums for each architecture, so verify before upgrading production systems. Side-by-side -side practical comparison. Stability. 15.6, conservative, proven for users who want fewer surprises. 16.0, newer components and policies. More changes mean there can be teething issues for complex setups. Desktop experience. 15.6, GNOME 45 slash Plasma 5, stable stack for the 15 series. 16.0, GNOME 48 slash Plasma 6. Wayland first, more modern features. Admin and tooling. 15.6, YAST still present with added cockpit options. 16.0, cockpit is primary. YAST workflows are changed slash migrated. Plan learning time for new workflow. Security and defaults, 15.6. Conservative defaults, mature app armor coverage. 16.0. Hardened defaults and enterprise-aligned options. Some subsystems adjusted, e.g. SE Linux availability and behavior and Pipewire audio. Support lifecycle. 15.6.
maintenance until the planned EOL window to allow migration to 16.0. 16.0, new support window and the plan for longer term support per the new life cycle. Upgrade considerations and a practical checklist. Before you upgrade, one, back up everything, user data, config files, and package lists. Two, take a snapshot, BTRFS snapshots or VM snapshot, so you can roll back. Three, check hardware and vendor drivers. Verify microarchitecture and firmware compatibility against the LEAP 16 minimums. Four, audit critical apps. Ensure any proprietary drivers or legacy X11 apps will run under Wayland X Wayland or have tested alternatives. Five, read the official upgrade notes. There are migration tips and repo changes noted by the project. Follow them step by step. How to approach upgrades. For desktop users who use modern GNOME slash KDE workflows and recent hardware, test Leap 16 in a VM or secondary machine, then migrate when confident. For servers or production systems, wait for a short stabilization window after release unless you need the new features immediately. Follow SUSE slash OpenSUSE guidance and consider enterprise support for critical systems. Recommendation short and clear. Keep 15.6 if you prioritize rock-solid stability and minimal changes. Move to 16.0 if you want a modern desktop stack, updated tooling, and you're ready to validate hardware and key apps. For most enthusiasts and early adopters, test 16.0 in a VM and migrate when you've verified your workflows. Finally, thanks for watching. If you found this useful, like and subscribe for more Linux release breakdowns. Drop a comment with your setup, desktop, or server, and I'll tell you whether I'd upgrade your specific case. Links to the release notes and upgrade guides are in the description. I don't think so. No, 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 no. I don't think so. No, 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 no. It's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen. I don't think so. No, 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 I don't think so, no, 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 it's never, ever, 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 ever gonna happen, I don't think so, no, 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 maybe so. Till then, nope, a nope, a nope, a nope, definitely nope, a nope, nope, a nope, probably never, ever, 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 ever.